Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Can you say hallelujah? Can I hear hallelujah? Can I hear hallelujah? If you're watching all like I just raise your hand and say hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. So right now, I just want to talk briefly on it's just a word. God's image. Not a word, I guess. God's image. And I'll be reading from the book of First Corinthians. Two, verse 10 to the end. But it was to us that God revealed this things by his spirit. For his spirit search, searches out everything and shows us God's deep secrets. No one can know a person's thoughts except that person's own spirit. Now, if I will be asking my sister to start, said, do you know what Isaac is thinking? Except who? Isaac, right? So Isaac understood what is on his mind. So I said, except that person's own spirit. And now I said, and no one can know God's thoughts except God's own spirit. And we say me, me, personalize, say me. I have received God's spirit. I have received God's spirit. It says not this, not the word spirit. So which means there is a spirit in the, that, that operates in the world. So not the word spirit. So we can know the wonderful things God has freely given us. So it is the spirit of God that we have received that help us to know those things God has freely given to us. So without God's spirit in us, we cannot know it. We can only understand the word spirit. And that is the spirit that works in man. In our continue, it says, when we tell you these things, we do not use words that comes from human wisdom. Instead, we speak words given to us by the spirit. I really want us to understand the line. That's why I'm really slow. So now... We speak words given to us by who? By the Spirit. Which Spirit? The Spirit of God that is in me, that is in us. So this is what we speak. And then it says, using the Spirit's words to explain spiritual things. So which means I am not ignorant of spiritual things because I have received freely the Spirit of God that is walking in me. So now that spirit is what I now use to interpret spiritual things. And he said, but people who aren't spiritual, those that are not spiritual, can't receive these truths from God. Why? From God's spirit. He said, it all sounds foolish to them. And they can't understand it. So we need to understand why we are different from the world. And if you as a child of God, you don't understand that you are different from the world. I am challenging us this day as we begin in the new year. Look at yourself. I said, I am different from the world. I do not carry this world spirit. I carry the spirit of God. And then he continues, he says, those who are spiritual can evaluate all things. You know, when we talk about the wisdom of God, you are a carrier of that wisdom. So which means when kings are sitting, when they see you, you understand what? All things. Because you carry the spirit of God. You know, says, those who are spiritual can evaluate all this. But they themselves cannot be evaluated by others. It's such a precious gift. It's a beautiful gift that children of God carries. And yet we yield to the world spirit. And yet we submit ourselves to the dictates of the world. And yet we, we long after the things of the world when we carry the things of God that should separate us from the world. Oh no. I'm challenging somebody today. You need 
to understand who you are what you carry on the inside the power of God that is working in you that will make you not yield to the spirit of the world that will make you say no to every appearance of evil that will make you say no to every dictates of the flesh and this is why I've come I've come to explain the scripture to us and then it continues it says for who can know the lost thoughts oh no I love this part he said, who can know the lost thoughts? I've heard many believers say that, well, the things of the Spirit is mysterious. And you are not God. You want to become God now. Hey, Bible tells me, ye are God. And then he says, who can know the lost thoughts? He said, who knows enough to teach them? Who knows enough to teach the thoughts of God? Who knows enough to teach them? Who understands it? Now, hear the good news. But we, we understand these things. For we have the mind of Christ. Amen. Anytime I am faced with huge, humorous challenges, I say to myself, I have the mind of Christ. I am a vessel in his hand. Jesus says to his disciple in Mark 4, verse 11 to 12, he said, the, he said to them, the mystery of the kingdom of God has been given to you. As children of God, you need to understand these things. For those that will say, who writes First Corinthians? Now, this is the word of Jesus himself. He said, for the mysteries of the kingdom of God has been given to you. Who have teachable acts? Those that have teachable acts. He said, but those who are outside, the unbelievers, the spiritually blind, get everything in parables so that they will continually look but not see <laughs> and they would continually hear but not understand otherwise they might turn from their rejection of the truth and be forgiven and then another scripture quickly tells me I quickly, I'm, I'm excited to share the word of God with us so we can really understand our identity in Christ for it is not ye that speaks. This is Matthew 10 20. For it is not you that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaks in you. So now tell me, as a child of God, who is a carrier of God's image, of God's spirit himself? You should walk in power. You should walk in might. Like fearless. 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 The Bible says that cast not away your confidence. This confidence is what we carry because we have the Spirit of God. So I just want you to pray. Say a word of prayer. Say, Lord, help me to understand your power that is at work in me. Now, there is a secret to these things being activated in you. If you don't fellowship with God from the place of reading the Bible, you cannot understand. Because that's where you understand when He speaks. You understand his word and that what vibrates is at the entrance of his word gives life and understanding to the simple so that word is what you need to get liberated this word is what you hold on to to fight because you have the power of god <laughs>